it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here back again with another video and today we are going to be back on dad's farm I just finished loading up the game So we're gonna get started here. We're gonna get all of our uh, machines running again uh, We're still hard at the soybeans <clears throat> Getting done So we've combined fields 9 and 10 and we're working on 12 here. Uh, we have filled two bins already. Uh, we're averaging about a bin per field. Um, so yeah, we filled a bin from 9, filled a bin from 10, and then we've got another bin that's already 76% full uh, that will probably get filled uh, from this next truckload. Uh, either the truckload when we take it when it fills, or else the next truckload after. Uh, as you can see, <clears throat> we have rented a dolly and another uh, hopper trailer just to keep up with the harvest. Um, before it was taking too long to get there and back with just one trailer, and so now we're running two and we can keep up a whole lot better uh, we also got a different auger tractor uh, we rented a 4020 here for a few days um, shoot, I'm it off, but I screwed up the jump auger now oh well we'll fix it when we come with the truck um, <clears throat> yeah, so we rented a 4020. Uh, the 4320 was just sliding around so much, and the auger would not stay in place. It was very annoying. Um, you know, like now it's slid a little bit, but I think I might have screwed up my positioning when I put the uh, auger up again. rock again uh, I was using the four-wheeler here to try and stop the 4320 from moving I would push it up against the tires but that didn't really seem to be helping uh, yeah it just kept sliding uh, also get this guy here. and then I got another thing to show you guys hop in this guy here guy up here so yeah I did see how it would uh, go to just lay the silage outside of the bunk and it didn't work as well as I had hoped I thought it would so, uh, when, we use, when we start using Tyler, we'll use that right away, get that out of there. Uh, I did make some more changes to the map. I'll show you guys those changes here. Okay, we still got a lot of beans left to harvest, but uh, we're rolling along pretty well. Having the second trailer has definitely helped a lot. I don't know if we'll need it for the corn or not, but we'll find out. But yeah, like I said, we're averaging about a bin of field, so we're doing pretty well. And we should have anywhere from 8 to, I'll say 12, anywhere from 8 to 12 uh, bins of... 8 to 15 bins of soybeans, I'll say. Uh, because 15 and 16 might yield anywhere from 2 to 5 bins a piece. So, we'll 
find out, I guess, what happens. Yeah, the uh, edit is over here. Uh, there's a couple of edits that I did. I'm show you guys here. So the first one is, we have all the uh, trees are not glidable anymore. Uh, normally I don't, you know, uh, normally I just leave them, but uh, there was too many issues of course play, so I just said screw it and got rid of that. Also, we have this bunker here. This is for viable fertilizer. So we can take our uh, branch auger and bring it here and stick it in the pile. And then we can also uh, bring the hopper trailer here and fill our hopper trailer. So uh, that would be nice. Uh, we can just buy our fertilizer directly. Now uh, there is also a storage building. Uh, I didn't put that on here, but I might. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. on back up to the field. Uh, I'm also, uh, I gotta make a list here, but we're gonna make a bunch of equipment changes uh, after harvest, uh, provided that we can afford it anyways. Uh, we're going to sell the blue, um, uh, no, 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 no. oh, not sure on that, but uh, we're gonna get some uh, get different combine and headers, we're gonna get uh, we're going to buy the Kinsey 1050 grain cart. Uh, we're just renting it right now. Uh, we're going to probably buy uh, Dolly and the trailer. Uh, that way we can just have our uh, second trailer. And you know, if we need it, we can use it. If we don't, we don't have to use it, I guess. Um, <coughs> we're also going to buy... Uh, different truck for the hopper trailers and we're going to buy a different fertilizer trailer, a bunch of different things um, but before we can do any of those we have to buy our beef equipment to make sure that we can afford that uh, if we can't afford all of it then we'll probably end up taking a loan uh, which really would be okay because then we'd have something to you know do with our money um, that we make, but make these things repaired. Shut this guy down. I suppose. Yeah, you guys probably haven't even heard me very well. Hopefully the truck wasn't very loud. Jeez, I can't believe I forgot to do that again. The green cart should come here in just a moment. So we'll just hit request. Turn our animated chopper back on. So yeah, um, today I'm going uh, with my uncle to help him again. Uh, if you guys remember, I said last week I had gone and helped my uncle uh, with some sheetrock. Uh, I'm going again today. I'm recording this on Tuesday. It is 10.40. And I'm trying to get this recorded so that way I can get it edited and uploaded as well uh, before I go. And our green card's going to be retarded. Um, yeah, so I can get it up edited and at least started on uploading before I go. Uh, if I can get it to start on uploading, then it can just sit and finish. Now he's going to want to drive home. Uh, it's not what I wanted to do. Dang it. Alright then. We will just get this guy going again. 
Oh, the joys of course play. I say this every episode. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go help him, so... I'm trying to get this done, but, uh... What I was gonna say is, I am going to be starting on... Some new projects here pretty soon. Um... Show you here. Uh, this is stuff from the fertilizer. Uh, this is the storage building. So you can store your stuff in there. Um, and if we go here, that's that stuff. I've already shown that. Uh, here we have a 1985 Alice Chalmers 1500 chisel. Uh, this is going to be the start of my uh, small or of my old iron pack that I'm going to create. Just a little chisel here. Um, if you guys see this one here has the drags in the back. I'm not going to have that on mine. Um, but I'm just, I got a bunch of different pictures of a bunch of different ones. So, you know, like this one here and this here. This is a, actually a 1600, but uh, it's the same uh, width or whatever. Uh, or length as the 1500 and I couldn't find any good pictures of a side uh, you know side pictures of a 1500 so and then here we have a 2008 um, 5400 case IH direct drill uh, it cultivates and seeds at the same time I know of somebody else that has done one of these uh, but uh, I'm going to make one as well. It wasn't public though, so that's why I'm also going to do um, a little mower here It's a uh, 2016 Frontier uh, RC 2084 So that'll be a nice little little mower I have a pickup header mod here that I'm gonna redo some or else um, I'm also going to make a Macdon PW8 pickup header. So, yeah. Uh, come on, get start. So our truck is half full. Let's go to tarp our front trailer. And fill the back up. Hopefully, our green card isn't going to be stupid again, which it and it looks like it's going to be good. He straightened himself out. See, I hear in a second, I'll just kind of show you guys what we're all going to buy here after harvest. So, tractors. Um, not a whole lot here. There is the beef equipment that we're going to buy. Which, for that, we're going to buy... Uh, the 4020 loader, a 4430, um, maybe a 4630, I'm not sure. I think that's all for tractors. Um, and then, well, obviously, won't need a front loader. Uh, we're going to get my edited John Deere grapple. Uh, I do need to go back and make a couple changes. Uh, I need to re-index some stuff. But basically I made it so that uh, when you go to grab stuff, these don't, the grapple itself doesn't have collision. Uh, and I put a locking script on it. So you can come up to the bale and you can lock it and then put the grapples down for show. Um, we might actually not do that. Uh, we'll probably actually get a CSZ fork here, uh, just because they work a little better. Uh, or maybe we'll get both, I don't know. Um, trucks, we're going to get a Kenworth T800 heavy haul, uh, high hood. Or no, not a heavy haul, high hood. Uh, it does, the store picture is um, messed up, but you guys will see it eventually. Uh, the combine we're going to get is the S690 American Edition. Uh, and then we're going to get the 
640D with wheels on it, and then the 12 row corn head. I need to do some testing to figure out if uh, they're the same, if this header and the header that we're using. Um, actually, let's look. 11.5. Where is our header? Ah. 11.5 and 12. Shoot. And I think we're programmed for 12 meters. Darn. So we can't do that. We'll have to just record all new courses, I guess. Which is alright. Uh, tippers will be getting the dolly and um, another one of these trailers. Uh, and then we're going to get the cattle trailer here. Oh, wait. No, we're not. We're going to use the Wilson trailer. That's right. So we don't actually need either of our Peterbilt trucks, really. Um, nothing new there. Nothing new here either. That we need to buy. Nothing we need to buy here either. Yeah. Ah, I'm not going to bore you guys, I guess. Waste time on the video. <clears throat> See, I think what I'm going to try and do uh, off camera is finish. We'll finish this field off camera. Uh, and then we'll do 11. Or, well, we'll try and do 13 and 14. Uh, and we'll see where where I'm at. Uh, so, next episode here on Thursday, we'll either be combining 11. Or we'll, be, or we'll be starting on 15. Uh, one of the two. You can see our auger sitting there. See if we can get it so that you can actually see everything. There we go. Now we can see all of it. It's kind of funny how the combine just sits there and waits for it. Uh, yeah, this field we've definitely been missing a lot. Uh, I think. Maybe not. But uh, because of this corner here, the combine is going to be kind of going too wide. Uh, it's not turning sharp enough. But oh well. Yeah, so then the uh, trailer that I'm talking about, uh, that's going to replace our current fertilizer trailer, is this Durahall trailer uh, that just came out here the other day. It's a very, very nice trailer. And then this is the cattle trailer that we'll be using. So we'll be using our pickup, uh, which we're just renting that pickup for now. But that's the pickup that we'll be buying. Uh, just obviously can't right now. And uh, this is where our cattle will be. I don't know if they actually will go out in here or how it, how uh, the guy that created the map, how I don't know how he, I don't know how he has it set up. Um, but, yeah. I know that they'll be in the barn for sure. So I haven't uh, tested the map to see, I should do that, to see if you can actually buy the cattle directly from uh, the sale area. Uh, I have to test that, and then you can, you know, if you can do that, then you can just back up to here, and you can unload the cattle uh, into here. Uh, I don't remember how many, how much does this thing hold? Does it say? Uh, it doesn't say. Okay. 
yeah, I am going to get back to work on my uh, dual lift cone bottom trailer. Um, that's the tr the mod that uh, I'm doing a recording over the course of making the entire mod. Uh, I am going to get back to work on that again soon. Uh, I've been kind of neglecting that project some. Uh, but I'm going to get back to that soon. Let's just look here. Yeah, this is set for 12 meters. So we'll have to make all new courses when we get our new combine, but that's alright, I guess. Uh, we won't have to for our green cart, luckily, so... Uh, we might actually, I guess. I uh, might have to record a few of them new. Uh, because we used single trailers before, so if we use double trailers, we'll have to record new courses. But that's alright, I guess. have all that much time left. Ten minutes. I'm not sure if we'll actually take a load to the bin or not. Uh, maybe if when the timer goes off, if we haven't taken a load already, um, I'll just keep recording. See, yeah, we still got a lot of beans left. Um, I know what we can do right now. I'm hopping our truck here and, uh, start figuring out some of our stuff. I'll bring up the calculator just on my phone here. Uh, so we have 8.03. Oh, wait, actually, I think that I already did that. Um, I can look here on my phone, actually. Um, I believe that I actually already... That's my harvest yields. I believe that I actually... Yes, I did. I already figured out our total land. Uh, we have 113.04 hectares and 279.3 acres uh, planted in beans. So we actually don't have to figure that out. So yeah, we've got half a million liters of beans already. And we're only two fields in. So we're, uh, we're rocking right along. If our combine's going to auto-unload this time or not look like it. I suppose probably if I had stayed away from it, just let it run, it probably would have, but oh well I guess. So we got we got four passes left on our beans on this field. And then we'll move on to the next one. So then once our once we were starting with our beans and knew how much wheat we had, uh, we made a call to the elevator and got our grain contract set up. Uh, and then we figured out how much we hauled hauled in before. Uh, I think it was like forty or twenty thousand or something like that. Um, I think we hauled. Yeah, we hauled quite a bit, actually. And our green cart's in a terrible spot. There we go. I think we'll actually bump this guy back up to six again. Just so we can kind of get this done a little faster. Uh, I did have his speed down, uh, and that's because I was it was filling so fast before. It is still kind of filling fast, but not quite as fast anymore. See, so yeah, once harvest is over, I've probably said this before, but uh, once harvest is over, uh, we will be uh, fast-forwarding time 
to where we can get great demands. Um, uh, yeah, so we can get great demands. So we can sell our crop at uh, as high of a price as we can possibly go. Uh, that way we can make the most bang for our buck, or get the most bang for our buck, I mean. Um, yeah, so try and make as much money from it as we can. I will, the only bad thing about doing that is our crop, or our fields, uh, will have pretty poor nutrients. Uh, but that just means that we'll have to do, uh, more field work. Uh, we'll have to do more you know, we'll probably start off spreading NPK and then we'll come back with the applicator and put down more NPK and then go with the fertilizer. Uh, you know, depending on what our uh, NPK levels are, uh, when we go to cultivate, we might spread more NPK before we cultivate. Uh, it just is going to depend on what our levels are. and We'll have to do a lot of uh, working at it to get our levels back up to being good, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, so we'll probably also end up selling some of our grain bins. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just keep them. Uh, but I was thinking, depending on how much we have, uh, we might just sell the ones that we don't use but I'm not sure not positive on that I've had a lot of comments asking when the next farm toy video is I don't know um, maybe I'll do it soon I need to fix some stuff uh, some stuff has been broken and kicked around uh, from when I had a sleepover with a buddy of mine when he came back uh, to staying in this state again. I moved to a different state for a while. But, yeah, so gotta do some fixing and whatnot and adjusting and crap like that, but uh, we'll see, I guess. See what happens. I just, I haven't really done anything hardly with the farm toys lately. Just haven't felt like it. Yeah, that's going to fill our grain cart, which is going to mostly fill our truck. Uh, and this course play course I have set up, uh, I have set up to run this field and field 13. So. Oh, I was going to stop the grain cart, but. Oh, he's going to head home, that's right. So I think this should finish off this field, yep. This is going to run the last pass here. So let's set this to start and end. Get all of our stuff shut down. And get us a screenshot here. See, so this portion of the field is running pretty poor. 29% moisture, 1N, 3PK. I am also going to um, get lime triggers set up. Uh, I need to do that as well. Uh, the only thing with using the spreader is that we can't change um, we can't change your fertilizer type um, in the field so that kind of sucks that you can't do that uh, so we just did field 12 I need to switch to field 13 we need to move our truck ahead now Alright, I think the starting point's over here. I thought. Let's see, 
Maybe I had it starting over here. Well, let's just set it to first waypoint and see where it goes. Yeah, it's over here. Okay, I couldn't remember where I set that up. There goes our timer. Dismiss. Yep, there's our starting point. So yeah, we'll go a little while longer just so we can empty the truck. Get this guy fired up again. There's some weeds right there. Alright, we'll get this guy rocking again. That'll leave that guy at 87.5%. So I think once... I think once it empties the combine... I can't remember if it's once or twice. Holy cow, this field's yielding pretty well. We're going to bump it down back, back down to 3, I think. We're running uh, quite a lot here. We've... Harvested a total of 94.9 hectares, it says. Which I'm not sure that's actually right. Let's see how many hectares there were from wheat. Oh yeah, that should be about right. And we had 68.52 from uh, wheat. So, I'm going to hop in our truck here. Do this. So, we go. So, we had So yeah, that's pretty dang accurate. Uh, my phone's saying 94.9, uh, and that's just from those fields. That's not including the bit that's been harvested here. So yeah, that's accurate. Uh, harvested a total of 2.75 hectares uh, this go round. Uh, just since I've started recording, I guess I should say. Uh, so. We're rolling along here. So then while I have this video editing and working on uploading, I'll keep working on the harvest. i to get as much of this done as I can before I leave. So we'll let this guy empty here. I think actually one combine load should fill the truck, but we'll just wait until the second combine load. Um, maybe. Let's see how much we have in the green cart. Uh, 10,571. Put us about 97,000. Yeah, we'll let the combine fill again here, I think. Actually, I think we can put our speed back. Otherwise, we'll be here for ages. I think the grain cart will start going soon enough that it uh, should catch up to the combine before it, re before it fills fully. So we have 57, 2, and 4. Thirteen is seven and three quarter. Those kind of hang out here in the combine, I guess, until it uh, fills up. Oh, don't hit the power. Good. 
Uh, hopefully we don't need the green cart along here. Because if we do, he's going to end up in the power lines. So I guess if he starts coming, then I'll uh, also have to hit stop. But it shouldn't. We're only at 20%, so... Fourteen there shouldn't take very long at all. That's not a very big field. We'll just uh, request a driver here once we get turned. Start going uh, north. I think that's north, yeah. Terminal. What is on great demand at the terminal? Corn. And we don't have any corn yet. We really should have put in some canola. That's what we should have done. 1,128. Highest price for that. That's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how to edit the uh, beef price because $2? No. <laughs> not gonna happen there uh, holy crap soybeans are worth a lot right now we could make a lot of money off of that right now wow just about two thousand dollars a ton geez if it's that price right now great demand's gonna be pretty dang high we'll make some good money off of the beans then well if we end up having to haul any to the elevator straight off We'll uh, make some good money. Alright, now we'll request our green cart driver here. That way we can uh, top off our truck and head into the yard and uh, hopefully fill up that bin I think we should uh, be able to fill just a little bit in the next one I think it's about 40% uh, with the double trailers so if it's at yeah use a trailer and trailer and a half or so whoa green card slow down jeez coming in hot there uh, and I have a feeling oh well, maybe not I'm wondering if that uh, slurry pipe there would be an issue but we should be turning before we hit that so okay, let's slow this guy down so that way we're done unloading before we hit that curve because if not course play on the grain cart will end up hitting our combine or something doing something stupid with it there we go there. okay let's get this guy driving not that way not that way yeah you can't go that way grain cart There we go. So 20,000, that'll definitely fill that truck. We'll get this guy run in uh, 15 here.
The only bad thing about me recording longer is it's taking longer to be done. It'll take a little longer to edit, and it'll take a little longer to upload. Or for it to save when editing, I guess I should say. But, oh well. So be it, I guess. Alright, so let's get ready to head out. Get on the end of the farm. So this thing holds 98,669 with two trailers, so. We had uh, 9,000 extra. Oh well. Turn on our blinker here. It only takes a lot to slow this thing down. You gotta really hit the brakes. You don't want to hit them too hard, otherwise you end up damaging the truck and trailers some. And that's no good. And trying to turn, that's another big pain. Because this thing's so light. Hopefully when we buy the uh, T800 high hood, uh, that'll hopefully haul these a lot better uh, than this truck does. This truck was not meant for heavy, heavy loads, I don't think. A little bit more of a light duty truck in it. But it's getting the job done, so... We're good for now. I have to swing out wide for this. It's definitely going to be a lot more interesting as we get uh, further and further into the um, further and further into the bins um, because it'll be a lot tighter of turns and stuff. There we go. Get this guy unloading. Bring this up so we can see how full it is. See, this tractor is definitely a lot more quiet than uh, the 4320 was. Definitely unloads pretty slow, <laughs> but in real life it does take a while to auger your grain, so I guess that's pretty realistic. Oops. Nine. Ninety. Yeah, our next trailer will definitely fill it pretty full. I've got 6% in the truck, in the front trailer, I guess. 94. Yep. Yeah. 96%. So.
All right, so this will fill up this bin. So let's get the next one opened up and ready to rock and roll. Uh, fill in that bin. So we need this one here. Alright, so this guy's full. Let's raise this up. We need to bring our jump auger in first. Before we do that. We'll raise this guy up. And then we'll get this bin shut. Oops, we need to wait for that. There we go. Okay, so we need to move our truck. Bring it right here for the moment. Oh, I'm way off. Way off on that one. Yeah, that looks a lot straighter. But we do need to move over just a hair. Perfect. Another bin full. Three bins, three fields. They're running pretty well. See, it's definitely going to be interesting when we're on like these bins here and those bins along the shed. It's going to definitely be a whole lot tighter. Not sure how I'm going to do that quite yet, but we'll figure something out, I guess. Oh man. Dang it. I just screwed that up big time. Jeez. I thought the truck was far enough ahead that it wouldn't hit the truck or the trailer. Evidently not, though. There we go. Thought I would clear it before, but I guess not. I was very wrong on that. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Time. Saturdays at noon Central. Make sure you check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.